See, when my, uh, my father died, it's my earth father, I mean, I found this crystal. Huh? Uh, this is kind of hard to explain, but see, it, um, it called to me. What's up, creepers? Welcome back to the Creepy Crawl. We got, I just want to show you this real quick. This is... This is something that I never thought I'd ever hold my hand, ever, um, and it's one of those things where as soon as I open it and put it in my hand, it, it, it elicited a physical, emotional response. Superman the movie is one of those uh, very few flicks that actually do that. Um, when the, the theme comes on, it's slow, it's teary, you're getting, you're getting the goosebumps, getting ready for the big bomb, 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 bomb. And I'm 47 years old, I swear to God, both my arms went straight out right there. But more times than not, I'm putting one arm out and flying around like an idiot in the living room. And I don't care what people think. So my buddy, he made this. Uh, my buddy Mike Solo. Um, he goes by the name Mike Solo Designs now. Um, if you follow me on the Atari Creep, you would know him as Irmo Custom Models. We've shown off some of his work before. Um... He was a big inspiration for when I built the uh, Blade Runner Blaster. So I think that was right around the time him and I really started becoming friends. But long story short, he showed me uh, he showed me one of these. And I'm like, oh, my God, where would you get that? And he's like, I'm casting them up. <laughs> and I'm like, you have to send one my way, dude. I have to have one of those. How much do you want for it? I don't care. And, you know, he just sent one along. It wasn't even supposed to come polished. It was just going to come as a rough casting. And you know what? He polished it up, and it looks perfect looks perfect he even made this little velvety condom for it <laughs> but this is one of those items that when I first put it in my hand I paused I took a breath and I kind of just sighed in, in a pleasant way it was like oh yeah you know and then I got a little teary eyed and then I posted it all over social media because that's what you do so I'm gonna get with Mike I, I hope this doesn't spark something that he didn't intend to spark because, you know, some of us makers, we, we just do things for friends and stuff sometimes. But um, other times it's for retail and other times it's just for the art of doing it. So I really don't know what his intentions are with these. And this is not like any paid promo for my buddy Mike. But I'll get all his information. And he does more than just this. I mean, he makes really rad DL-44 blasters, any any style you like. Uh, from the hero to the Greedo Killer to all of them. Um, really good dude. Really great. His talent is amazing. His work has always been phenomenal and he told me this was a second he said there were like little microscopic scratches and some bubbles in there can you tell no no you can't tell so look forward to if you do follow the atari creep now if you don't like foul language and stuff like that atari creep is not for you it's not going to be as family friendly as this channel and i can't really say how family friendly this is but we will be building something over there using the mini macabre god too many names right <laughs> um Amelia Macabre playlist and build something for this. So, folks, let me know what you think down in the comments. Leave me feedback, thumbs up, thumbs down, all feedback to the Creepers positive. Mike, dude, thank you, man. Thank you. Now that I have your address again, I got a package here I've been building over time. It's going to be on its way, brother. You just never know when. It could be at the new year, it could be already on its way. You may never get it. But, Mike, seriously, dude. Thank you. This is, as soon as it was in my hand, I said, it's one of my favorite pieces that I own. And it's, I'm going to request that it gets buried with me if I choose to go that route when I uh, leave this earth. Seriously. Um, I originally wanted to go to a body farm for law enforcement, you know, research and study. I may not do that now. <laughs> I may put this on the inside of my burial jacket. And hopefully when I get dug up in a thousand years from archaeologists, they see that and they, they freak out over what it is and they have videos about what it could be and maybe it's an ancient computer or something. I don't know. Whatever they do. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Happy October. Until next time, I hope you're all doing well. Take care, Creeper Real. And bye-bye.